Cloak and Dagger, Season 1, Episode 1, Thoughts. This episode's called First Light. Yeah, uh, I love this episode. Spoilers for everything MCU leading up to and including this episode. The episode is rated TVPG. Not sure how they got away with that one. So will this video be. Let's dive right in. So, yeah, I am not super familiar with the comics, so I'm not going to be calling out a lot of stuff from, yeah. Yeah, we open with the um, the the ballet lessons, and you know the the yeah, young Olivia Holt is not doing an amazing job at ballet. She, you know, maybe she's not gonna you know go pro, but. She's already so much of an adult that when she, you know, she calls, she's, you know, research and development. Nathan, you know, what was it? Nathan um, Bowen's office, please. Hi, Daddy. <laughs> you know, just because, yeah, like, if she just called and, and was like, I need to talk to my dad, they might be like, oh, oh not this. Can we, can we stall her? But, you know, she sound like... Yeah, she's she comes across as as sufficiently yeah, um, and they talk about that you know her mom is you know like clearly her mom was supposed to pick her up. She's taking pills for her back pain, and you know she's now no longer quite so dependable anymore. And they don't come right out and say it, which I guess is to keep the TVPG rating, but it sounds like it's the, the opioid crisis, uh, you know, this thing of doctors will prescribe these really intense painkillers and patients will end up addicted afterwards, after, after the treatment is done. And, uh, you know, sadly it is, that is something that happens a lot in America, and yeah, you know, Tandy herself, when she becomes a teenager, you know, she's also casually doing drugs. And let's see, the... Um, yes, we, we, yeah, so we have some stuff with, with young Tyrone. And, yeah, this, this thing of, you know, his brother actually specifically refused. You know, they're, they're trying to peer pressure him into to breaking the law and and you know they they imply that he's not black enough if he is unwilling to to break into a car and steal a stereo you know and i i really appreciate you know we see here yeah he actually he did the right thing and he was trying to protect tyrone and it ended up not mattering you know he still got shot by a cop that cop faced no consequences and this is sadly you know it doesn't usually happen in connection with the the explosion of an you know what what was it uh, um the the um the rig you know oil rig i think they said it was you know but yeah and i don't think it's an accident that you know, the police chief is, his last name is Watts. You know, Watts was, yeah, not a, not a wonderful place to, to be a, a black person for, yeah. Um, let's see, the, the, yeah, and, <clears throat> you know, Tyrone as a kid, he's just trying to help his brother, and he doesn't, you know, he's, he's not old enough to completely understand, you know, like, he understands that what he's doing is something the adults aren't going to be happy about, but he thinks he's helping his brother, you know. And I, I do love the the bit with, you know, are you wearing my, my hoodie? It was in my room. Now, my brothers and I are so far apart in age that I've never been in that particular circumstance, you know. Yeah, to, to put it, when I was a child, they, my brothers, had children of their own, you know, so, yeah. And, and, you know, some of them now have grandchildren, so, so, yeah, but I'm pretty sure that's giving sibling, that's a big, that's a, that's a very common sibling experience, this thing of, you know, yeah, that was, 
that was a nice bit of yeah um let's see and but but yeah you know ultimately like you know tyrone and uh i'm i'm not great with names i swear it's not meant as disrespect of uh, the um because i'm seeing yeah, I'm I'm not sure I'm seeing his name on the But but yeah, uh Tyrone and his brother, you know, they were trying to do the right thing. They were trying to return the car stereo, but you know, they get caught with, you know, something stolen in hand. You know, and and I do appreciate this thing of, you know, he knows Tyrone's brother knows they're not going to listen to us, you know. And I love that the the cops, you know, there's so much Copaganda out there. There's, America has made a lot of copaganda, and instead here they actually they focus on like the the lights from the police car are almost blinding to the audience. You know, so we're put in the perspective of the perps instead of the the cops. You know, we we very much understand why they are afraid of of the cops. And let's see. Yeah, and we we see the the you know the accident off in the in the distance, and I love comedy books. So okay, Tandy's father was specifically explaining what is you know this bad thing that's going to happen. Then it happens. You know, the, the oil rig blows up, then a car crashes, you know, Tandy and her dad crash in their car, go off into the water, where Tyrone is diving to, to save his brother, and he ends up getting to, to Tandy and, and getting, you know, they, they get out of there, you know, just, I, I, yeah, it's it's wonderfully contrived. That is how, you know, how else are you going to very quickly and efficiently tie these characters together, you know? Seriously, love comic books. Love how, you know, this really does feel like they took a comic book issue and just put it on the screen. And so when we meet Tandy as a teenager, or, or young adult at least, I wasn't loving that the camera is kind of leering at her before we even see... I think it was it before I think it's before we even see her face you know but I think what they were doing were like underlining this is how the world sees her you know when when young men spot her they don't see a person they just see a sex object and that is what we see with I believe his name was Rick and let's see and and yeah it is a clever subversion of, of expectations that you know, it is not the the young black man who's a thief, it's the young white woman. And the, let's see, yeah, I thought they did a really great job building, like, by the time Tyrone finally hit the other player, yeah, I was 100% on board with, because, like, how many times is he supposed to just let the other guy, you know, because... Like, I don't know that much about basketball. Even I know. Like, make me the ref. I will call that. Like, holy crap, that ref was not doing his job, you know. And, and yeah, you know, you kind of got the sense, you know, he's made... If I had to guess, maybe the the other team, is, you know, has a, um, has some influence. Maybe one of their dads. Is, is really influential or something so he's afraid of making them look bad so he's just letting all this happen and yeah you know Tyrone you know yeah eventually he he gives in and, and hits him and the the it is very much this thing of you know young black men even if they go out of their way to not be violent you know, if they even once slip up and are violent, that's what a lot of society sees. And that's clearly also why his parents, you know, they're, they're very anxious about that. And let's see, yeah, um, Tandy, 
I, I quite like that she, you know, she explains what's about to happen to Rick right before, you know, and, and that is, like, it is one of those things of, I don't love, you know, I, don't, I, I think there's probably more than enough depictions of young women being abused but at least it did lead to, you know, she's able, and at first she robs him, and later she, you know, defends herself against him. So, you know, with that, that, that bit of context, I think, is, is crucial, because otherwise, like, it's definitely, it's a problem. I, I don't think we solve that problem just by depicting this over and over. And, but, but yeah, you know, they, they made him very rapey, you know, he's, at first he is like, just, yeah, you know, at, at first he seems like he actually is, you know, he's, he's like asking personal questions and such, like, but after a little while, he's just, you know, he keeps kissing her after she makes it very clear that she doesn't want that, and, yeah, you know, then, yeah, she starts explaining, you know, uh, you know, my, my side hustle, my side gig, and what's that? Robbing rich young jerks by putting something in their drink, and, you know, he's, you get the, you know, he can see, oh, crap, I'm one of those guys, aren't I? Like, there's no, his, his face is not saying, oh, wow, huh. I guess I'm the lucky one that you skipped, huh? No, there's, you know, and he, he, passes out as the, you know, and she lets in her actual boyfriend, Liam, I believe his name was Liam, um, and, and, you know, the, the thing of the ballet tickets, you know, and, and yeah, you know, later she's, she's sitting and she's looking down on the, and, or not looking down on them, but watching them from above, and it is this thing of, you know, what could have been kind of thing, you know. When, yeah, when she was a kid, her mother was hoping she would be able to perform ballet. And let's see the the and and yeah, you know, once she goes to to you know she she looks at her seat and it's like you know she'd be sitting next to people that she definitely couldn't get anything out of. You know, she was if if there was. If her seat was next to a, a young white guy who was there by himself, you know, there's a pretty decent chance, but, yeah. And, let's see, the... Um, I don't really have a problem with the fact that Tandy, like, it kind of looked like Rick... Was he... Was that supposed to be him dying i i don't really th like she gave him every chance to she she repeatedly asked him to stop he refused you know so and and she didn't mean to as as best as i can tell she was shocked by it you know rather than relieved which is also psychologically accurate as much as we like to think that getting violent revenge over someone who hurts us is going to make us feel better, you know, the the research into it suggests that that's often not the case. You know, so I'm not I'm not saying that, oh, you know, no, she should have found a, a way to, to not, you know. The one issue I do have with it is that really did not look like the was it was it like this much of the of the dagger, which I'm guessing is her power, creating white daggers out of nothing, you know, very very little of it seems to have, you know had had any blood on it and the we we do also see his like bloody wound it really didn't look like that much of a oh hold on fair enough fair enough it's possible those are not like maybe there's some kind of poison involved fair enough objection withdrawn let's see then we have the um, uh, let's see, yeah, um, something I did see, um, 
some people take issue with on this show is the fact that they don't show the powers that much. And now that you know, I'm only at one episode in, so I can you know, it's possible it'll get more later. The the teleportation so far they're doing a pretty decent job of getting around by the the fact that, you know, they're doing it with editing, which is, you know, I do really appreciate. Cause that is like with with editing you can imply teleportation very effectively without having to show expensive time-consuming special effects. I did like that when he woke up up on the up on the roof like I mean I think it's supposed to be that he, those were his 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 covers is that what y'all call those in English? Uh, you know the the yeah what he's covers himself with when he sleeps but it does end up looking like you know I'm, I'm looking at pictures right now that it, it has him somewhat resemble his his comic book costume so quite appreciated that let's see and yeah and we see that the cop is corrupt you know both as you know yeah he what was it he called his uncle to to get it settled uh i hope that they explain because there's a couple of times where I mean, I guess maybe both of their powers are, like, flashback-inducing, at least at times, because it it didn't seem like it was... It wasn't every time that they used their powers, but some of the time they perceived something that... Yeah, um, I, I kind of hope for an explanation of that, because that was... Yeah. Um, like, it's, it's a comic book. Go as weird as you want. Absolutely. But it's it's especially the fact that it didn't happen every time that that made you know that was a little weird to me because every time that Tandy uses her powers, there's light from her hands, but the flashbacks are not consistent. And and yeah, what little we did see of special effects, it was fine. It was especially you know the the light is not super difficult. The the shadowy stuff for for a cloak is what I'm guessing he's gonna end up going by, you know, that was slight, that wasn't completely convincing, which, you know, at, at least there wasn't very much of it. And, let's see, so yeah, I'm, I'm guessing that the, you know, they must have both used their powers back in the, you know, years ago. We, we, we haven't been told exactly how many years, but yeah. You know, this thing of... Because Tandy must have used her powers to cut through so she could get out. And then Tyrone must have teleported them to the beach. Because, like, how were... Like, I guess hmm, I guess it's possible that they swam next to one another. Because I, I was thinking there's no way that either of them were able to just... Like, not carry, but, you know, take the other with... I guess it's possible that they both swam but the fact that they were completely knocked out afterwards kind of makes me wonder if it was maybe power usage and then they passed out from using their powers which is common for you know and until you get the hang of it a lot of comic book characters you know become overwhelmed when they start using their powers um let's see I look forward to seeing more of, I think, was it Detective Connors, Scarface, you know, he was, you know, sufficiently despicable, and I, right, I quite like Tyrone using the actual, what was it, uh, co cocaine or meth or something like that, you know, like, he, he throws that in the face of Connors. Very clever. That's a good, and that's a that's fighting dirty. Quite appreciate when when characters are are willing to you know, because the situation calls for it. You know, it's not like he's being, you know, he's he's not attacking some old lady by throwing you know drugs in her face. Um, right. I appreciate that both of them see injustice with their own eyes uh, as as kids. 
You know, Tyrone realizes that Chief Watts is lying about the cop. Tandy sees her mom and her lose everything because of Roxon, which, you know, by this point in the movies, they hadn't gone a lot into it. But I understand in the comics, they are absolutely terrible, which, you know, they're based on Exxon, so that's just accurate. Uh, but, but yeah, you know, both of them see injustice from very young ages, which can help explain how they end up becoming vigilantes, and, and in the short term, how they end up... I mean, Tyrone isn't actually that... He's, he's quite well-adjusted, considering, but Tandy is, is not doing wonderful. Uh, right, apparently some people really hate Olivia Holt. Uh, is she one of the Disney... I think she was a Disney kid, yeah, and for some reason... A lot of people really don't want to give Disney kids a chance. I thought she did great in this episode. Like, I'll, I'm willing to, you know, I, I suppose it's possible that in an upcoming episode she really lets lets down the the. But so far, I I really thought she she nailed it. Um, let's see. Right. I also like the yeah. So the party, you know, she accidentally because she's just so drunk you know she spills beer on his you know and she's like oh I'm so sorry you know off with the hat and you know patting him down and just gonna lift the you know oh you know that's the, the you know just yeah that was that was pretty good I, I but she does make the the kind of rookie mistake of staying around you the, the, you know I've I've seen other I've never done it but I've seen other stories where they told you know, and and that's kind of a rookie mistake, you know. But you know, fair enough, she is young; she's like a teenager. But you don't want to stay around. You know, once once you do that, you 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 know, because because like at the end of the day, like as soon as she's walked just a little bit away from him, she can just leave. And if if someone asks, she can just say, "I'm too drunk. I need to go home. I need to sleep this off." You know, something. Which yeah, she, like she wasn't even like. Invited. Nobody knew she would be there. Um, let's see. I, I did think it was kind of sweet. Uh, what was her name? Ev Evita, I think. Uh, you know, having a, a crush on Tyrone and like, you know, give me your phone. You know, just, okay, here's my number. Here's the GPS pin and a bunch of emojis to remind you who you're letting down if you bail. And let's see. You know, I, I do feel bad for him because, you know, it wasn't his fault that he got robbed, before, you know, the, the, what, what is it called again, bump? No, that's when you bump into, but whatever, you know, it has a name. Um, that type of stealing. Pickpocket, maybe? Anyway, yes, um, I think that pretty much covers all that I had for this first episode. Um, let's see... Right, it was very, you know, the, the, yeah, when he manages to teleport away just as the, you know, the cop is, is trying to, to shoot him, which also, like, holy crap, what a bad person, like, th literally all Tyrone, you know, I'll grant that he didn't know that Tyrone teleported in there by accident, which I do appreciate, you know, it clearly is subconscious, like, he goes to sleep and he wakes up near, you know, what's, uh, Detective Connors, you know, so, like, yeah, the, the, that's a, that's a nice little way of, you know, it's not random, uh, let's see, but, but, yeah, you know, yes, the cop didn't know that it was an accident that he teleported, but, like, you're gonna shoot someone just over that, you know, it's, it's, he's making sure there are no witnesses kind of thing, but just, yeah, still very scummy. And, let's see, um, yeah, you know, very, very excited to see where it goes next. Right, I did also appreciate, you know, like, a lot of the time, you know, clearly, every so often, Tandy goes home, and a lot of the time, her mom just isn't there, you know, and so she hides stuff in there. I also wasn't entirely 100% clear on if the, like, she accidentally cuts her hand. 
is that why she made a dagger later? Because it was specifically the same hand that she cut. I guess maybe it put the idea in her head to make, to, to cut him or something. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's possible that it's just like random. Yeah, because the way, you know, the, yeah, the cut is how the writers got her to do the flashback that her mom apparently didn't see. Yeah. Um, let's see. But yeah, uh, I think the, you know, they haven't shared a lot of screen time. I do think they have chemistry for what they, you know, and yeah, I thought, yeah, both Olivia Holt and Aubrey Joseph, fantastic performances, really hit up the park. And... See. Right. Uh, I don't. I think it's a little too early for me to say about the music. I know some people really felt there was there were too many needle drops. Um. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna circle back to it in either a future thoughts on episode or maybe just talk about it in the review itself. So far, I don't really have an opinion either way. And I think that is um, yeah. Uh, I should be able to do the next episode tomorrow. So yeah, catch you then.